Hello and welcome. This is a prototype one. And we probably all know that this game doesn't age pretty well. Well, one of the reasons is that it doesn't really support um, new resolutions. Not even full HD. 1080p. Except there is a fix for that. And that link is in the description. It's very easy to use. Just download it and extract that to wherever you install it in the, your prototype one game. Steam folders. Somewhere there. I don't remember where. But I can show you in later in this video. But anyway, that's that. Like in my game, this is full HD now. And I think it supports a little bit more even for that. But anyway, I have also another one, which kinda boosts uh, all the colors and uh, sharpness and uh, all kind of depth in the game. Even if you see the background there, um, it's called Gem FX. If I take it off, looks pretty shitty. <laughs> and if I put it on, it's so much more alive. Let's go and see other things. Like life in the, the town. Oh damn, there's a tank right there. Yeah, without gem effects, very gray, dull looking. And with it, so much more in death. Just brings life more in this game. And so much fun to play it again. Oh, I had a little lag there. Let's see. Yeah, at least to me it doesn't really affect in FPS. Probably a little, like a 5 FPS down. Like a max. Probably not more than that. Chemifax is also very easy to use and install. Uh, there's a link in the description for that also. And uh, it's exa file. It asks you to where your game is. And you install it usually in the same place where the game is. But not necessarily. It's usually where the game exa file are. Which launches the game. So you wanna install that there. And there's also one other thing. You can't use game own um, anti-lysing for that, because the Gemfax uses its own, kind of modifies it and such. So you have to you take analyzing off when using this, otherwise it just doesn't launch with the Gemfax. And some games which are 64-bit, um, when you launch the Gemfax, Gemfax for the first time, you can see there is all kind of options, tons of options actually. There's compatibility mode, and also mode for 64-bit games. But I'm probably not gonna do tutorial for those how to install and all, because that's just plain boring. And I'm pretty sure people know how to do that. If not, please let me know, and I'll probably do that video. But I'm, I'm counting on you, youth and today's people. They're both so easy to install, really. Yeah. And now you can probably enjoy this game. Even it still looks older, I know. But it brings a little bit more life. Oh, that poor guy. But anyway, thanks for watching, if you did. And uh, I hope this helps some people, because I believe not many people even know these things. And probably that's why it doesn't want to play old games again. And by the way, that gem effects works almost in any game. At least what I've tried. It, you, um, there's only a couple of games it doesn't... For some reason, I don't, I don't know why. Usually ported games from Xbox or... PS2 or something. I don't know. Feel free to try and let me know anything useful. <laughs> okay now, thanks. Uh
I don't know how to rumble anymore and probably better if I don't so again thanks for watching see ya